Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you how we can build the filters that you see on Facebook, Instagram and all. So before we get started, let me just show you a demo of what we are going to build today. So here I have a video. That's me. Don't forget to use a mask when you go out. Stay home, stay safe. So let's see how we can build this uh, something called as an AR filter or AR effect. So for that, I'll be using a tool by Facebook, which is known as Spark AR. So once you search it on Google, you'll find it on the first link. I'll also mention this link in my description below. So this tool is by Facebook, uh, which is used for creating face filters and all that you see on Instagram and all stuff. So go ahead and download this. It's available both for Mac and Windows. I've already downloaded and installed it. So let me just open it up. So this is the first screen that you see, and these are basically sample projects, which you can play around with to understand the tool better, but I'll go with a basic uh, blank project so that we can learn it from scratch. Let me just maximize the screen here. So this is the initial view that you get in any project. So this is the camera and this is your mobile view. You can also see the mobile view here. You can maximize this too. So these are sample videos provided by Facebook. You can go to video option here and they'll provide you with various sample options for testing your filter basically. So these are different face shapes and with beard and all stuff. But you can also use your own uh, face using the webcam to see the effect apply on you in real time. So yeah, that's me. So let's get started. Uh, so initially uh, what we got to do is uh, track your face basically. But before that, uh, let me just show you that we need few assets here. So as I've shown you in the demo, this is the virus that was scattering away and I had a sticker below. So all this I created in Photoshop and also the mask. So this is the mask I'll be using. So make sure you have your assets ready and let's get started. So first, as I told you, we need to track your face for which I'll add a face tracking object. So here we have it, the face tracker just insert it. And now, as you can see here, uh, my face is being tracked. Here's the object. Now I need to add a mesh on my face, which basically I can apply the mask. So I'll add another object known as face mesh. So here we have now my face is being tracked. Basically, if you can see here, it's under the face tracker. So basically the face is being tracked and a mesh is being applied on it. Now I need to add a material or a layer on it. So we go to the right hand side and add a material. So a material gets added on the left hand side, as you can see here, I'll rename this as face mask. It's good to rename the objects. It will be useful for you in the future. So I go ahead on the right hand side and choose the face mask that I created. So here we have it. And now as you can see, a mask is applied, but it's not perfect because my mouth is visible and the mask color is changed. So for that, you need to actually go to the shader type and make this as flat. And now you can see this is the mask color that I actually created. And then my mouth is being visible. Uh, to remove that, you need to go to the face mesh. And uh, yeah, here you have your mouth and eyes. So just uncheck the mouth. And now you can see my mouth is not visible. It's also covered under the mask. And as you can see, the straps are not properly being applied. So before that, uh, the way to create this mask, there's a process. If you go to help here, they provide you with download face assets. So just go to that link and download the face assets here. So once you open it up, there are a set of uh, files and folders, go to textures. And this is basically the template that you have to use. So take this to Photoshop. I've already taken it and just try to apply the, uh, so this is your template where you have to apply the mask. So this was the basic mask that I used, but this was uh, causing an issue because it's not reaching the ears. So I made some tweaks and I ended up creating this one because this part of the mask is not visible. So it goes under your ear. So I've uh, basically erased that part and I've extended the straps. So once you're done with it, uh, just hide the template and save this as a PNG. So now let's get back and apply the new one that we created. Okay, uh, so I, I'll go to the face mask here 
and I'll remove this one and I'll choose a new file again so this is a new one that I created and as you can see now it looks better but still the straps are not reaching towards the ears so what I'll do is I'll try to scale the position scale and do some position adjustments here I think the width should be a little more so I'll make this as 1.1 as you can see that increase there I think Y axis we need not increase because it's almost fitting let me keep it as 1 maybe 1.1 and it's Z axis that you would increase so that it goes back so I'll keep this as 1.3 and as you can see now it looks uh, much better but you can always go around and play with these to see that it gets fit properly so that is done now next I need to add the sticker that you saw below so for that I'll add a plain object here so once I add the plain object uh, it's actually on my face but it needs to move along with the face tracking so I'll drag this into the face tracker so as you can see it's moving with my face but I want it below my chin here so I'll use these arrows and just move it below so as you can see now it looks pretty good let me just add a material to it which is basically the sticker so create new material and I'll name this as sticker and let's choose the file here uh, so that goes to be this one so there you go the sticker looks good and it's positioned good here so next off we need to add the virus particles uh, here and there so for that we'll be using a object known as particle system there we go so you can see something being created here first thing is it needs to be uh, totally out of the environment I'll just move it outside and it's being positioned here now let me just add a material to it so I'm going ahead and adding a new material here we'll name this as iris and I'm choosing the file here so I've created something so you can see that being generated here but we want it to scatter around so what we'll do is come back to our emitter so basically this is a virus uh, particle so I'll name it as virus particle and now uh, the type is point that is why it is getting generated from a single point let's just make it ring and now you can see it's being scattered pretty much in a good way and then you have a lot of options here that you have to tweak around so that it matches your expectation so let me just go ahead and make the birth rate 40 so that more is getting generated and let's keep this play angle as 30 and uh, this is basically going too quick so that is the speed that we have to control and it's going in some particular direction so I'll try to use a negative value here 0 0.05 and I think now it looks pretty good but it's dying so soon so that is because of the lifespan here so let's keep the lifespan around 30 seconds so now you can see it's being there and then let me just spin it at a particular rate so now it's also spinning that looks good so going on next i'll add some tilt so basically you just need to play around with these uh, uh options here so that it matches your expectation so let me just tweak a little bit more and then and then i'll get back so yeah uh, this one looks good to me uh, so uh, it's being spread all around maybe i'll just try to position this a little bit towards the camera so yeah now it looks pretty good you can just play around with all these options i'll move it a little more up and it starts generating on the top also so yeah uh, this one looks good so we are done with the applying the materials and uh, all the objects now we gotta start coding it so for coding it it's pretty simple uh, you actually have a patch editor which has drag and drop code here so this is your patch editor so first off let's uh, actually get the camera the face tracker here so drag the face tracker onto the editor canvas so you get this uh, drag and drop these are called as patches or nodes you can call uh, so i'll just delete this face tracker we just need these two so i'll click on this and delete it 
And now, as I've seen in the demo, when I open my mouth, uh, the mask should fall in. And if I... Oh, no. Sorry. If I open my mouth, the the virus should be scattering around. And when I close my mouth, I should get the mask applied and get the sticker. So for that, we need a mouth opening uh, tracker. So let me just drag this node here. You can actually drag this node and leave. You'll get this search. Or you can actually add as a patch. So mouth open. So this is a node or a patch. So I'll link it up with this. And now when I do a mouth open, so it's, 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 it's like a condition, like if then else do this. So you need to search for that next. If then else. So now we have a system which tracks the mouth. So I'll, uh, I'm trying to open my mouth here and you can see the condition blinking here in real time. So I was opening my mouth and you can see the real time feedback here. So the condition is working. Now what you got to do is you need to turn off and on this uh, layers for which, uh, let me just start with the particle here. So when I open my mouth, it has to actually trigger on. So initially I'll just turn it off here. And this is the visibility property and just click on this arrow. This will throw the visibility property of this object onto the editor. Now just connect this to the visibility property. But you can see there's an error here. Uh, this error is because uh, basically this accepts a Boolean value, which is true or false. And this is giving values of zero and zero. So for that, just click on this if else and turn this to Boolean. And now you can see the error is gone. Uh, so let me just try opening the mode. It's not working because you have not assigned anything. So if your mouth is open, you got to say then do this. So click on then. Now I open my mouth. And there you go. The virus is on. You have the real time feedback here. And once this is done, uh, you basically. So initially when my mouth is open, your, the mask and all should be not, should not be present. So I'll use another if else condition for that. So there we go. We have another if else condition here. Again, turning this to Boolean here. And now I need the face mesh visibility true. So I'll add it here. And also the sticker, same way, adding it here. And now let me just link it to both of these. So I need to add a condition here, just like you saw before. That is why it's not working. So I used the else condition here because in a then condition, this is happening. I open my mouth, there's a virus. I close it and there's the mask. So that's it. We are pretty much done. And let me also show you how to add instructions. Basically, a user doesn't know uh, what this filter does. So you need to tell to the user that uh, when you open your mouth, something is going to happen. So for that, uh, go to your project here and click on edit properties and then come to capabilities. Yeah. You just need to add a new capability and type in instructions. There we go. So there's an automatic system, but I'll go for a custom instructions here and open this up. And basically you need an open mouth instruction. So search for open your mouth. There you go. Insert it. And you need to copy this token. We'll need this in the future stage. So I copied it. And now we are back to the uh, editor. Now what you got to do is uh, you need a new patch called as runtime. So basically what this does is this event starts as soon as the effect is initiated. So we need that instruction to just come for like three seconds maybe. So for that, I'll use a less than patch. So here we go. So I want to tell the system that when it's less than three seconds, then only show the instruction. So our instruction will be available on the device because it's a device capability and then come to the custom instructions here. So just add this here. We have it. So we have copied a token before just paste it here. That's it. And now link it up to this. And we are pretty much done. So. The runtime has already gone to 46 years. So just restart the system here. So the effect gets restarted and you can see there it shows open your mouth. 
and it's the instruction is gone because it's crossed three seconds. So that's it guys for this video. Uh, that's how to build it. Uh, in my next video, I'll be showing you how you can upload this to Instagram and Facebook and get it approved. Uh, and you can also test it on your device. For that, you just need to go to this icon here. And you can download an app called as Spark AR Player that's available on Play Store and uh, I, Apple Store. So once you have installed that, once you connect your device, you can actually click here and it will automatically open the app and the effect on it. Or you can also use your Instagram default app. So once you open this, you can actually do a send to Instagram camera. A notification will pop up on uh, the Instagram app and you can actually try this app directly on your device. So that's it guys. Stay tuned for more such videos. And as always, if you like the video, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and don't forget to click the bell icon. Thanks for watching.